In this video, we'll write the electron configuration for S2 minus. That's the sulfide ion. Before we do the electron configuration for S2 minus, let's do it for the neutral element S as it's found on the periodic table. So S on the periodic table, in fact, all of the elements on the periodic table are neutral. They don't have a plus or a minus sign up here like we do with this sulfide ion. So because of that, we have the atomic number here, which is the number of protons. In a neutral element, the number of protons equals the number of electrons. So we know we have 16 electrons here to write our electron configuration. We use this periodic table here that's divided up into these orbitals to write the configuration. You can also use this chart up here. There's a link in the description that explains how to do that, but this is really, I think, a better way to do it. So let's do it. We've got sulfur and we've got 16 electrons. We go to 1s, that's the first orbital there. S holds up to two. So we have 1s1 and then 1s2. We'll put the two in here. Then we go to the 2s, 2s1 and 2s2. And we've used four electrons so far. So we have 16 total. From the 2s, we go to 2p. 2p, that can hold up to six. So we'll put six in here. Now we've used 10, 2p, 3s2, 12, and we need 16. So after 3s, we go to the 3p, and that can hold up to six, but we don't need six. We only need four more. So when we get these four here and add up all these electrons, it equals 16. This is the electron configuration just for neutral sulfur. We wanted the sulfide ion though, S2 minus. When you have the minus up here, that means it's a negative ion and it gained an electron. So the sulfide ion, that has a two minus. It gained two electrons. So we're just gonna add two more electrons here in the 3p orbital, so that'll give us 3p6. And this is the electron configuration for S2 minus, the sulfide ion. You might note that the third energy level, these threes here, we have two plus six, we have eight electrons. These are the valence electrons. So with eight valence electrons, this is very stable. So when sulfur bonds with other atoms in ionic bonds, it gains two electrons to get this full shell here, which is very stable. In fact, this is the same electron configuration as the noble gas argon. This is Dr. B with the electron configuration for S2 minus the sulfide ion, and thanks for watching.